Europe is a small continent with big airfares. Unless you've got a lot more money than time, you're probably better off on the ground. Car travel is easier than you may think. You go where you want, when you want. No schedules or tracks. And cars are great for those who don't plan to follow my pack light advice. In fact, you can even rent a trailer if you want. Driving is very economical for groups. Three or more people splitting a car rental usually travel much cheaper than by train. Remember, car rental is cheapest if you arrange your rental through your agent before you leave home. Driving in Europe really isn't much different than driving at home. The signs are easy to learn universal symbols, and each country is well set up to help its many foreign drivers. Sometimes, as a visitor, you can save money by doing a little research. For instance, my guidebook explains how to buy gas in Italy with money-saving coupons that you purchase as you cross the border. Every time I buy gas, I can practice my communication skills. This is just one of many special bargains for the on-the-ball tourist. Europe's rest stops are as super as its freeways. They have restaurants, gift shops, snack bars, and grocery stores. You'll find European roads just like those at home. Modern freeways, crowded cities, or quiet country roads. There's nothing exotic about driving in Europe. What can make it exotic is your willingness to let serendipity do its thing. Try a dirt road, stop at a farm, take advantage of the freedom a car gives you. Be spontaneous. Who knows what awaits around the next corner? <laughs>